Whether it's a routine physical, an emergency blood transfusion, or monitoring medical therapies, pathology testing positively impacts the health of over 100,000 Australians every day. For patients, these pathology tests often happen behind the scenes. So what actually happens after a sample is collected? Where does the test go? And how do doctors get the data needed to make a diagnosis? This is Sarah. Every year, Sarah goes to her doctor for a routine physical. During her most recent physical, Sarah tells her doctor that she is feeling tired all the time. Concerned Sarah may be anemic, her doctor orders a test to assess her blood count, also known as a full blood examination, or FBE. He also orders immunoassay and clinical chemistry tests to assess her iron status, which can determine a possible cause for the anemia. These tests detect and measure specific substances in the body to uncover a possible abnormality. Sarah's doctor gives her a test requisition form that she takes with her as she goes to a room where her blood will be drawn. The sample is labelled and sent immediately to a laboratory that specialises in testing for patients. Today's laboratories can be both large and small, depending on where you are in Australia. In Sarah's case, her blood is transported to a large, sophisticated centre where blood and other types of patient samples are screened, tested and analysed using the latest diagnostic technology. It's a complex operation where thousands of samples are tested every hour and results are returned to the physician to aid in patient diagnosis. After Sarah's blood arrives at the lab, it is prepared for analysis. Her sample is placed on an automated track, a kind of computerised roadway that transports the sample to the right instrument for testing. When the sample arrives at the right place, the instrument automatically begins analysis and a test result is generated. In Sarah's case, her blood is analysed using a laser light that measures the size and shape of cells as well as the amount of light detected from a chemical reaction. Results are reviewed by medical scientists and pathologists before being delivered electronically or by phone to Sarah's doctor. The test results arrive back at the office and reveal that Sarah's haemoglobin and iron levels are low. Sarah's doctor diagnoses her with anemia and shares the results. She's relieved to find out her overall health is good and that her anemia is treatable. With iron replacement therapy and routine blood tests to monitor her progress, she should be in great health in no time. Like Sarah, countless people benefit from pathology to improve the quality of their healthcare and overall health. Doctors rely on consistent and accurate results. And since up to 70% of all medical treatment decisions, including Sarah's, are influenced by pathology test results, it's critical that the results are timely and accurate in order to provide pivotal information to healthcare professionals. Every day, around Australia, pathology laboratories are working to ensure the high quality of tests are being delivered efficiently and reliably to the physicians and patients we serve. Our sophisticated laboratories apply a range of innovative technologies to ensure turnaround times for test results are fast. Results are delivered back into the hands of physicians in a timely manner, so patients like Sarah can be assured of an accurate diagnosis and begin proper treatment. Pathology professionals across Australia strive to treat patients like Sarah as if they were members of our own families, because in many cases they are. Pathology is helping to save lives and improve healthcare across Australia and around the world.